Muhammad Firdaus bin Abdullah Fahmi Aku nikahkan dikau dengan Kaisara Suaida binti Ghazali Bermas kawinkan sebentuk cincin emas dan sebuah laptop dibayar tunai Aku terima nikahnya Kaisara Suaida binti Ghazali Dengan mas kawin sebuah cincin emas dan sebuah laptop dibayar tunai Based on my knowledge, marriage is the sunnah of Prophet. It was the way of the Muslim to get married and have children for the next generation of the Ummah. Other than that, the husband is kind and generous toward his wife, and the wife is respectful and obedient toward her husband. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِنْ قَبْلِكَ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَذُرِّيَّةً وَمَا كَانَ لِرَسُولٍ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِآيَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ لِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ كِتَابٍ The second question is, uh, can you have intercourse with your wife and marry her? Menstruation is a process that is discomfortable and sometimes may be painful for the woman. In other words, when the woman is in menstruation state, it will cause unfavorable and uncomfortable situation for both of the husband and wife to do the sexual intercourse. This is rahmah given from Allah to each the woman during menstruation period. Other than that, Allah gave rahmah for the husband to do the sexual intercourse with his wife after the menstruation state. وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْمَحِيضِ قُلْ هُوَ أَذَنْ فَاعْتَزِلُ النِّسَاءَ فِي الْمَحِيضِ وَلَا تَقْرَبُوهُنَّ حَتَّى يَطْهُرُ فَإِذَا تَطَهَّرْنَ فَأْتُوهُنَّ مِنْ حَيْثُ أَمَرَكُمُ اللَّهِ إن الله يحب التوابين ويحب المتطهرين. And the last one. In what surah in Al Quran did Allah mention, explain about the human formation or creation? وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينٍ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينٍ ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُّطْفَةَ عَلَقَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَةَ مُضْغَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامًا فخلقنا المضغة عظاما فكسونا العظام لحما فكسونا العظام لحما ثم أنشأناه خلقا آخر فتبارك الله أحسن الخالقين. السلام عليكم. Hi guys. Alhamdulillah. We have come to the end of this video. For now though, we have learned about the main organ of the reproductive system and the function. So we have looked at the structure, mechanism, function and the Islamic perspective of the menstrual cycle, ovulation and the hormonal regulation. We also talk about the role of estrogen, progesterone, oxytocin, prolactin and what happened during the process of menstrual cycle, milk production and pregnancy. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to like and comment our presentation. Please ask if there is any inquiry and thank to our respected lecturer Dr. Radia and Dr. Zaitun for the guidance and support. So, see you again next time. Bye! Bye.